Okay, hello, good afternoon. Thank you, you, for being here. Let me see where. Um, oh, 10 minutes. Okay, let's see. So we are fine right now. Three? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's start with this. Um, so, as Javier <laughs> introduced me, thank you for the introduction. Um, so, we will be talking about marketing plan for your business, for your projects. I know you have been working in different projects to present soon. Um, well, please, if you have any questions, keep it for the end. So we'll have some time for Q&A. Um, so we'll be going through, oh, sorry, I mean, the title is in Spanish. <laughs> But we'll be going to the marketing plan. So we'll see executive summary, the market objective, USP, uh, the shortness plan in the world, uh, a little bit about digital media, and then we'll go with the Q and A's. Okay, so when we work with a marketing plan and also with a business plan, what we should do for our business and for our projects, uh, the first thing we have to do is like a map. So we have to sit down and think and see what is where we're going to offer. What is where we're going to offer to the market. So what are our products or service? Or uh, could be ourselves. Sometimes we, we need to sell ourselves. We need to put some as far in personal branding. So we have to define really uh, clearly, okay, what is what we are offering. Uh, what need will this satisfy? Uh, what the people will be interested in buying this? What is the uh, requirement that we have to put these products or this service in our client's hands? So we have to sit down and write this. Write this down. I always say that when, when we write this kind of stuff, we see things that we don't see when we just have it in our mind. And we think we have to think also about the benefits. We have to think that we, we sell benefits, we sell experience. Even though we sell products, we sell service, yes, but people people need to be connected with what they are buying. So we have to think about what is the benefits of this, what are the experience of this. Uh, we have we can think about the some brands that we have in our minds like Coca Cola, like Apple. Yes, they sell products. They sell maybe services, but they sell experiences. So when you think in Coca-Cola, maybe you think in Christmas, you, all, you remember <clears throat> the Christmas carols, you remember the advertising they have for Christmas, Did you, do, maybe you remember the experience you have with the Coca-Cola cars selling the products on the streets. When you, when you think on Apple, you think also in experience, because they sell more than a product, more than a service, they sell experience, they sell the benefit, they say, hey, if you buy this, you will have a, uh, for example, in Coca-Cola, if you buy this, you will have a, a Christmas dinner in family, you know, everybody will be happy, you know? So it's not just about the product or the service, it's also the benefit and the experience that, that goes with that. So we have to think about that, we have to put it down, we have to write it down. And also we have to think about the marketing challenge. Uh, so what, what are the, the challenges that we face when we are launching a new product? How is the market? How will the market react? How the people will know that we are launching this? What are the ideas? What are the solutions that we have? Um, and what is the competitor doing? What is the competition doing uh, regarding products and services that are similar to us? Uh, where are they putting their efforts? How are they calling the clients, how are they reaching them, what are they doing in that way. So we have to make like this big map with all the information to see, okay, where are we going, what are we going to do with our product, what are we going to do with our service, how, how is the market doing, what can we do. And so, and then we have to, oops, sorry, we have to do this market analysis. So we have to create a profile of our customers. Um, even though when we were in digital media, what is what mostly I'm doing right now, I like to create like a profile. 
also is we can do like a you know like a picture of them will be really useful for all. So I start asking, okay, like creating like a is a is a I am about to create a digital profile for myself, but thinking of my clients, on my customers, okay, like where these people live, where they work, what do they like? Do they like chocolate? Do they like meal? Do they like to go to the to watch movies? Do they like music? Do they like to read magazines? Do they travel? Do they like sports? Do they what do they like? What are, what are, who are they? You know, so we can think better about where can we reach them. So is somebody is is our market is is full of people that like to travel. So maybe we will need to be in the magazines that <clears throat> we put, the people put in the uh, in the airplanes. Is our clients like to I don't know go shopping online? So maybe we should be online. So that's why we need to define really um, clearly how our clients are. So and also in this in this aspect we have to think. Um, any external uh, situation that can affect our market, that can affect our business, our, our products and our service, any political situation, any natural situation, and how uh, can we move forward with that? What is our plan? We have to have a plan A, but also a plan B, a plan C. We have to have a different plan. Um, Thinking ahead of what could happen, what is a hurricane come? So what what would be you know what would be the solution? Will that affect our business? Yes, no. Well, we have to think about all those kind of things, and always think about the benefits. Remember that the benefits. What are the benefits that will this product or service satisfy in the clients, in the market? How we meet that? How we launch products or services that would meet the client's requirements, even though we have competitors, even though our other products or services out there. And the other analysis that we have to do is the competitor. So we have to find out who are they, where are they. I put this uh, global map here because sometimes and nowadays with the technology and with the digital media, Sometimes we are not really clear. Well, when we work in digital world, where are you know our markets? And we have to start small. We have to start maybe in our community, and then, okay, let's analyze who is our competitors in our community, and then okay, let's analyze who is my competitor in in this state, for example, and then okay, let's think about the country. Okay, who are my competitors in the whole country? Oh, but let me see. My my business could be international. Could be a multicultural business. Okay, so let's analyze globally who are my competitors or who could be because maybe we're starting today a new business and we're small, we are babies. But maybe tomorrow we want to be like Pepsi Cola, <laughs> just an example. And just so okay, so we have to think in that. We have to see them. We have to you know be behind them, like taking note about everything they do. We we can take them big. But starting, we have to think small, but you know, with that goal in mind to the future. So we have to analyze our competitors, community, like stay like country level, and then globally is is the case. Um, sometimes, and also sometimes when we are non-profit, I don't know how many of you have projects that are non-profits and not necessarily business. But and competitors can be also like collaborators, like could be partners. But we also have to analyze them and say, okay, what are they doing? How are they doing? Uh, how are their marketing efforts? How many, how much are they putting in the you know marketing plan? How much are they putting in distribution? How much you know? How much are they doing? How much? How are they working? And, and in this case, and not just for the marketing plan, but also for our business in general, um, it's really good to work with the SWOT analysis. Let me see. Okay, which is, <coughs> oops, I don't know if I can. Oh, look at this. Sorry, I didn't know I could do this. Um, so we have to work in a strange weakness, opportunities, and tricks about our market, including our competitors. So what are our 
you know, it would have any strange in front of our competitors. So we have to write it down. We have to put in there, okay, this is our strength. These are a weakness. A weakness are also opportunities because we have the opportunity to change that. We have the opportunity to face that and to transform maybe in a strange. So <clears throat> in treat, we also have to include these natural uh, political issues, natural phenomena, and new competitors that will come to the to the market. So how will we work on that? How will that put in, you know in danger our business? In the opportunities, it's all the opportunities we have in the business with our products and service. How can <clears throat> those benefit my business? How can I take advantage in a good way? Of this opportunity to go, you know, ahead to have success, and in our strength is everything we have that when we perform well, everything we have that is is a plus for a pros for our business. It could be details, could be like, okay, my package is from recycled material, so that could be an strength for people that are interested in recycling package. That is definitely a plus. So my strength could be my customer service is face to face and people like face to face, you know, in this digital area, I will decide that I will do everything face to face. That is kind of strange because I am good doing that. So that will be a plus for your business. And for weakness, as I say, is opportunities we have, you know. And maybe you not know, in the moment you can, you know, change everything and so bring solution for all the weakness, but maybe for the future, so you say, well, I have this weakness, but in one year, I'm planning to, you know, create a solution for that, so that will change, so that will not be a weakness anymore. But probably in that time, you will have another, so that's, this is changing, you know, this is not riding on rocks. So, still working with the market, <clears throat> um, we have the yeah analysis of customers, competitors, and the potential of the market. So let's see, we have a product that we have, we want to sell to, I don't know, 100 women. Uh, we have, I don't know, a splash. We have to yeah, sell to 100 uh, women in a specific city, let's say in Atlanta, where am I right now? We say, okay, we want to sell these to 100 women, Venezuelan women, for just an example, okay? So how will you reach them? How will you deliver your product or service to them? How is the competition doing? Are those people buying another products from competitors? Or are these people just looking for new brands to buy? Like, you know, how is that process? How much will you spend putting the products or service in their hands? We have to think about that. And we have to think real, being realistic. Sometimes we want to think Sometimes when we are, you know, starting, we don't have a lot of experience, and I am talking from my own experience, we want to think like we want to reach the whole world. No, I will reach, you know, everybody, all the Hispanic community in the world. That's not true. <laughs> we have to be realistic. We have to think like, okay, I always say that it's better to start small, thinking big, yes, to the future, but start, you know, something that you can control, something that you can manage, not thinking on really big and then in the way you just get frustrated because you couldn't achieve what you were expecting. So we have to think small, we have to think in you know, a market that we really can reach, we really can work with and then we can, okay, maybe, okay, we did it. Let's open it, let's make it bigger. So we have to analyze that we have to write it down again. It's really important to write it down because we, we find details that we couldn't find just in our mind. And it is always important to take, um, think about the challenge uh, of entering in a new market. When we have new businesses, like, okay, how will people react? You know, how will I make people know that we are here, that we launch this new product of service? How will I deal with competition? What I will do? Okay? Think about that. 
So we have the general analysis of the situation, the market, and then with that map, we already built, so we start thinking on objectives. The objective of the marketing plan could be different. It could be, we have to think about it uh, for each product, for each service, but also could be for each, <coughs> sorry, for each market, because one product of survey could go to different markets, the same product of survey. So we have we will have to think strategies and tactics for each market. It's not that okay, let's launch this with a single strategy and um, tactics. No, because maybe some people like from let's take the example that I was telling you before. Maybe from that uh, the 100 women that I want to tell the splash, maybe 50 of them like to buy stuff from Amazon or online. So we have to think on an online strategy for them. But maybe the other 50% they like to buy in stores, you know, real stores. So I will have to develop a strategy for them so they can find the product and the store. So it's not the same plan for everybody. Even it's the same product, it has to be different, has to have different strategies. So with the objectives, so we, we define objectives and say, okay, this is my business, I want to achieve, you know, 100 women, okay, how will we do that? Okay, let's say the strategy, so the strategy is I will put 50% of my product in on, on an online platform because I know that they like to buy online and I will put 50% of my um, the other 50% of the product in a store. Okay, which stores? Okay, let's find which store. No, the women are mostly Venezuela. Okay, so where the Venezuelan women in Atlanta buy this kind of stuff? Oh, they like to buy in the pharmacy. Okay, so let's put in the pharmacy. So we have to think in a whole process of how <clears throat> we will put the, the products and service in the hands of our market and thinking on the marketing plan. So, okay, is this online? So I will create a uh, marketing uh, campaign, you know, to promote that online uh, selling. But for the store, maybe I don't need a uh, digital campaign. Maybe I need to suppliers. So I will, you know, give in other streets of people near the store so they can know, oh, I can walk here and go to the store. So we have to, uh, develop this plan thinking on, on the different actions that we'll develop to promote our products or service. So with the objective, <clears throat> some some people maybe know already this, but we we in, in marketing we work with the four P's. The four P's uh, tell us about product, price, place and promotion. So the product itself is what well, the product or the service that we are selling is we have a line or no, is we have a, you know, how we organize that. And then the positioning of the product. So, I mean, why is this a good product? What are the benefits? Have, what is it, what makes this product or service different from others in the market? How, how can I offer it in a lower price? Do these products of service have a better quality than others that are already exist? Is the package differently offered? Is this package offering, you know, any advantage? Is this package uh, reusable? Like with this package, they can use it like for another team in, how, in, in the house. Is the brand offering something special? We have to remember in this that everything communicates something. Everything, the package, the name, the colors we use for our brand, for our product, for our, for our <clears throat> service. Is we do a presentation, is whatever we do, everything communicates something. We have to be sure that everything is aligned with our uh, brand. Is Everything is aligned with our mission, with our vision of our business. And then we have to think in prices. Some people say that prices is the most difficult step <laughs> in a business plan and in a marketing plan because we have to think about different, different things. We have to think about, of course, the cost, but we also have to observe the competitors. We have to think about the production, about the distribution, about 
everything. And of course, we have to win. <laughs> so it's, it's difficult. It's, it's really difficult when, when, it, when it comes about service. So we have to think about hours. Okay, how many hours did I put to offer this service? One of my challenges right now, uh, working in my business, my own marketing plan for my my business that I start, is how do I own the same but working less? <laughs> I think it's a challenge that many of us are in our in our life. But one of the mentors I have, he said, okay, now this is good, this is going really well. So okay, now you have to think, how would you put less hours in this less I was working on that, but earning the same. So I'm working in that right now because maybe my prices I have to maybe are too low right now. So I have to work on that. So we have to think about the prices because at the end for the marketing plan we will need the price to promote our service approach. And then we have to play we have to think in the place. Where is the where are we gonna offer those? How will we get the product to the customers? Again, it's by internet, it's in the store, it's hand to hand, we will have <clears throat> sell representatives, how we will do that. So we have to think about that. And then in the promotion, how we will promote. And that this goes together with the place. As, as I explained before, is we wanna sell something at the store, maybe we can do you know promotion around the store and it's something on something that is just online, so we can do all my promotion or we can mix it that is not like any difficult to mix it it just depends on our goals it just depends on what we want to do and for this the art of selling is basic um then we go to the unique selling proposition um it's really important to determine what is our budget what is our price, but what is our selling uh, numbers. Um, if we have to include always the marketing calls. Sometimes people uh, try to think that marketing is for free, and it's not. Not even social media, and if any of you work on social media or in digital world, no, it's not any free <laughs> work there. Even though if you think, oh, it's just posting something, it's just, well, we have to have somebody behind the computer or behind the phone creating the, you know, the image, the text, and putting it up. So that's time. So it's not free. So we have to always <clears throat> keep in mind how much we will invest in the marketing. And for this, selling and budget is a, something uh, important is knowing that sales and knowing how to sell is is a basic. So I have here a, a step to success in sales. <coughs> Sorry. Say so we have to prioritize <coughs> Sorry. We have to prioritize our potential customer. Is we are a new product or a new brand, so we have to think first in the in the customers that we know will consume our product. Not in the customer that was oh one day I would like to reach this, you know, this market because I would like to these people start to try in this product. No. This is not the people that we need to start with. We need to start with the people that you know <clears throat> they will like or they will they need already your product. We have to be prepared to sell. We have to have a presentation. We have to study like <laughs> we were going to a school. We have to be prepared. We use a lot in, in marketing the elevated speech. You probably heard about it. It's a speech that you have to give in up to a minute, I think, when you see when you sell your product. You see what are you doing, you sell you know, everything. But really quickly. Really Lo specific siento. that the other person will be interested on in knowing more on meeting you later or even buying something. <laughs> That would be great. So we have to be prepared and for, to create an elevator speech, even if it's up to a minute, we really have to be prepared. We, we have to know our business. We have to know what do we want. Because otherwise we'll be around like, oh, you know, what I'm doing this, because mm, I like this, because you know, because in the future I would like to create. No, 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 no. We don't have time to, to waste. So we have to really be prepared for selling <clears throat> and be ready to for the objections. 
when um, when we are going with a new product or service, we will have objections. We will have you know many questions about why, why you decide this, what is that. We have to we need answer to that. And something important, and I will say it's, it's always important, but maybe mostly in the services, is closing the deal because, okay, we offer the service, we say, okay, okay, this is what we have, this is the cost, but the moment when we say, okay, when the other person say, okay, we'll start working with you for this period of time, I will pay you, that, that's the important part because without the closing, well, we don't have any selling. And something really important, not only in the marketing plan, but in the business plan in general, in our business, is we always looking, reflecting, um, making adjustments when they are necessary to keep going, you know? Be following up, okay, how is this working? Is this a strategy working? No, yes, okay, let's change it, let's adjust, okay, let's try again. So it's always trying. And something really important, uh, sometimes could be um, some, uh, a value is the customer service. We have to define the strategy. How do we want to treat our clients? How do we want to handle them? How do we want to handle the conflicts, the complaints? We have to. We need a plan for that. And that's part of our marketing because that could be something that we promote. We, say, we can say, we offer you the best customer service in the market. But to offer that, you have to you need to have a plan. You need to be prepared for that. And in this customer service plan, it's also important to know how will you know the customer experience? How will you know if they like the product or not? So you need to create a plan for that communication. You need to define, okay, will we communicate with the client face to face or no? We are just online service. Okay, so it's just online. Or you probably say, no, we like to visit the people in their house because that's our way of treating them. Okay. Always thinking that we'll, every decision will have codes, but that's the way you will decide to communicate with your customers. And always remember that a satisfied cost is the best sales. Uh, this is called the World's Shortest Marketing Plan by Kelly Odell. <clears throat> you can find it on the internet, but it's a really um, good summary for us to work on the marketing plan. It's a, you know, have like a product price, place, promotion, and have the basic questions like what, why, when, how, how much, and who. So when we work with this and we write it down, all the answers, it's really helpful for our <clears throat> for our business, for our projects to work with this. Um, I would I would truly recommend you. Um, what I showed you before is kind of more developed, you know, and examples and some ideas, but it is really concrete to work, and it's really useful. You can find it on internet. Um, I will help you a lot. Um, we have like a few minutes more. Uh, another area that is really important for the marketing plans nowadays are, is the digital world. So as we know, I will say that almost everybody is in, in internet, but it's not. It's like a half of the population, uh, the world population is of internet. So I will say that all our business and projects have to be in, in internet. And it doesn't have to be like in all the social media, in all the spaces, but we have to think about it, that we have to define, okay, is our market is this a specific market with these preferences, okay, so those people should be in Facebook, okay, or those people I think maybe they are mostly like Twitter. And many websites have the, all the information regarding the people that is on the social media, so we can find, okay, where is the people that I am looking for? So I need to have presence in that platform. Let's say, for example, if I am working with something focused to women, um, so I will probably f will find that in Instagram is a good network, you know, where many women are, where many women interact, or maybe Pinterest. So maybe my brand has to be there. And then we have to find a way to be attractive being there. Facebook is the, you know, still being the most used uh, social media 
platform among Latin American people and among Hispanics. So that's a fundamental, I would say, uh, social media network where our business, our own project have to be. I know some of you are working in this kind of projects like nutrition, environment, women. We were talking about women. Um, yes. Uh, so, for example, is this a woman um, project that you are developing? So, yeah, you can focus on Facebook, but also Pinterest or Instagram, depending on how it is. Um, maybe, maybe you can go through groups that are already existing in those uh, social media networks and used to promote your business. Maybe you can contact organizations that are also working on that and create kind of a network of organizations or companies that were supporting women and then you have a space to, you know, to brand your product or your service, your project. <clears throat> um, about nutrition, one of the network that, one of the social media networks that most show about food, about nutrition, about is Instagram. Maybe it's about fancy food, but you know, maybe could be um, a way to show your project, to show where you are talking about nutrition, to show what are you doing in your project regarding that. I see you say it's a low income population. So the, maybe for a project where it would be more useful is the SNM, um, the text message. It's incredible, but cell phone, everybody, I mean, at least most of the people have a cell phone. Don't, don't, let's don't say everybody, but most of the people have cell phones. And if they don't have internet, at least they will have text message. So maybe that could be a way to reach, you know, the people that we want to benefit from our project. And we have to think in these cases, some, sometimes our, our projects are not business, but are non-profit. Sometimes our clients or our market are the the grants are the people that put money, you know? The, uh, so so we have to think about how we reach them as a client, as a market, and we have to think in a plan just for them. So at the end, if you have questions, if you have any ideas you, could, you want to share about your projects, I will be more than happy to help you with that. Um, so I think the time is running <laughs> really quickly. Uh, we are in the Q&A session. Please, if you have questions, let me know. Awesome. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, sure. if you guys have any questions, please let us know. And uh, I can read them the questions to Annabelle so she can answer them for you. Guys. And I just wanted to remind you that this session is being recorded. so and we'll be up and running in YBT website at ybt.net slash bootcamp uh, just in case you guys wanted to anybody wants to go back and look at them And then, uh, I don't think that we're going to have any, any questions, but can you uh, show the next slide of the your content? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, so this is a, just a quote that I, I like to put. Why not? Um, this is my content information. So if you have any question, anything that you think that I can help you with, please. Contact me. Awesome. I will be more than happy to support you <laughs> in anything that I could. Awesome. That, was that information. And uh, I do want to apologize. So I can see. Yeah. Turn my screen. <coughs> I do want to apologize, guys. I forgot to show my screen in the beginning. But 
this is an available lot of information and this is the the part that I wanted to show you guys the Tick America's and Coretto website so you can follow them as well and uh, with that yeah this session is being recorded and it's going to be in uh, the website probably so yeah thank you for joining us Annabelle thank you again thank you you guys and all the best for all the projects <laughs> thank you Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye.